And why don't you want to uh, enforce peace on Austria? Curious. I can't. You need higher relations with the country that you're enforcing for. Oh, uh, yeah. User left your channel. Someone else could do it. And call you in. Tuscany, perhaps. Uh, we'll see what they take. So apparently when you retreat your navy, and then it goes through an enemy navy ship, they just get wiped. I learned that in a hard way. Really? Yeah, it makes no sense. Uh oh. What's up? What? You have separatists. I'll go take care of them. I was just about to send an army down there. Oh, alright. That's fine. If you got it. Tell me when you're not at war anymore. May take a little while. Alright, not in a hurry. I just have no use for that one province anymore. I mean, I'll probably unrival the Ottomans eventually. I just need to find a better rival. Where the hell is Stetten? Stetten's in uh, Bohemia. Or, it's in Pomerania. <laughs> oh, there it is. Uh, I'll start occupying Denmark soon, by the way, because yeah. Wow. So you can get your troops there now? Uh, yeah, I can get my troops there, but... Uh, we just need to wait for Russia to be come out so that we know. Uh, You're lagging a little. We small Russia's making. You're lagging. Whoa! Tuscany is fighting Austria. Like a What's going on? Tuscany was fighting Austria, and then they pieced out. Probably just to avoid losing uh, prestige. Where'd you guys' uh, troops from all at? User in your channel timed out. What are you guys doing up in Norway and Denmark anyway? Uh, Russia has Sweden, uh, Russia has Sweden vassalized. Basically, he's gonna feed, and Sweden has all of Norway, so he's gonna feed all of Sweden to Sweden. And he's gonna annex and have, like, all of, uh, the Scandinavia. Which will be bad. Because he will be very powerful. Okay. But also have a problem with Austria. He has taken Paris as well as has uh, Normandy as vassal. He's had Paris for quite a while. Yeah, but in the last war he also consolidated his area quite a bit. Where's Dagestan? Uh, uh no. Yeah, near the it. Caspian. I think. Still our coffers. Why are my heirs have average claims? Well, I'm screwed. Why? What happened? Um, well, Bohemia is my rival, and Brunswick was my ally. And then they decided they wanted to ally Bohemia instead of me. You still have Castile and Tuscany on your side, and if Austria joins in a war against you, then I will go join in a war against them. Oh, thank you. User joined your channel. Because I'm uh. not. I've almost Sunniized all of the Middle East. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh. Angelical Oh boy. Oh. League wars. Oh boy. Whoa. Which side's everyone going? Oh, oh man. man. Oh, I'm, uh, I support the faith I am because you get massive bonuses when you win the war. I would love to as well, but Austria. Well, I guess this might not even. It doesn't in a matter. War. Like it's better because you get massive bonuses towards your country for your religion because you take it over. I think you get like plus three percent, plus three tolerance or whatever, which lowers revolt risk everywhere that's Catholic. I kind of want to go on the Protestant side, but oh boy. Well, fight on it, but you're fighting against Austria. I'm not switching. This is going to be interesting. Italy's staying Catholic. I doubt that there's a way that Catholics lose this. Just by the way. Well, Russia and the Ottomans can join sides, too. Yeah, True. but I don't think I'm going to be joining this war. What are we pausing for? They're disconnected. Did he? That he did. Hey, uh, Tuscany? 
Good vote for Lithuania Commonwealth. <laughs> yeah, vote for the Ottomans. <laughs> oh no, you can't. Never mind. I remember. I think at the beginning of uh, EU4, Are you, you could for vote for cream. Yeah, that'd be funny. If one more, if you and one other person vote for him, he'll win. Wow, uh, we need. To, he needs to improve relations. Where's Cream at? You should get Bohemia to vote for him. Is Cream even in his room? User sure joined he is. Your channel. Or, oh, he lagged out a while back. ago. He lagged All out right. a while ago. What User happened? Left your channel. What are we doing? Uh, Cream <laughs> lagged out a while ago. Out of the User speak. joined your channel. Oh. User left your channel. User left your channel. Oh. What is going on here? Mike User overheated. joined your channel. Oh, lol. His phone overheated. <laughs> Has your phone overheat? I didn't even think that was possible. Well, obviously it is. I suppose so. Uh, I guess I'll I guess I'll change my vote for back to Austria before Mark Honey has a heart attack. <laughs> wow, hey, you, genuinely, you genuinely could make uh, Cream yeah. win. Yeah. I think that's a good idea. If Cream tried allying Brandenburg or something, that would work. Oh my god, Brandenburg. Fully support there. a Commonwealth Emperor. Make Austria lose it. Yeah. That would make the Empire huge though and really strong. Yeah, and the Commonwealth or manpower go through the roof. Well, they're on the other side of the world. Yeah, you could try like... I don't know. Only need 30? <laughs> Do it! We should honestly make Commonwealth become the Emperor. Or... Tuscan, no. you should vote. Now they're voting for Cleves or something. Oh wait, no, change back. back some look, look how close it is. Look, Commonwealth is negative 36, <laughs> Cleve is negative 12. Oh my god, they got Commonwealth. Yeah, that's two. Just need Brandenburg and then you win. And flip Tuscany. No, they, he does have, he do, Brandenburg's voting for him as soon as the month changes. Oh yeah? Yeah. Look, oh, hover I over see. the number. I see, yeah, yeah, hover over the number. <laughs> and then, <laughs> oh my god. And then Tuscany can vote for Cleve as well. Tuscany, do it. No, uh, do it, do it. gonna declare war on me if I do. So what? So I'll defend you. So what? So what? Yeah, so, so what? what? I, so I what? just want by Italian states. I'm just kidding. I don't gonna care. sell them to me. I don't really care. Y'all don't. Have I to offered vote. him. I kept. I offered him 500 gold for both of these, and he wouldn't do it. Or a thousand gold for both those provinces, and he wouldn't do it. For both what? Oh, Welshburn and Anakara, or whatever it's called. Where is it? Oh. The top province at the Italy. Oh, oh so he's not going to let you form Italy? That's gonna no, be. he will. He said as soon as I get... He said uh, as soon as I get Milan. As soon as you form Italy, you're leaving the Empire, you know that, right? Yeah. yeah. I got too many relations, sure. Napoleon. I've run out of stuff to build in my country. That's awkward. Every one of my provinces has a marketplace, a temple, and a barracks in it. <laughs> I don't have anything else to build. Like, I can't get plus three advisors, so I've been sitting on plus twos for ages. Oh, I can finally get plus threes. Holy crap. Congrats. I've been making 25 gold a, tur a month because I haven't had anything else to buy. My army's been sitting at full maintenance forever. I just forgot about it. I keep my army at full maintenance, so just in case, like, Russia or, like, Austria surprise attack me. Good idea. Because I'd rather not lose a, f a full stack or, like, lose an entire, like, Entire like area just because I freaking didn't have my troops on full maintenance. The boy thinks they're gonna revolt. You are wrong. I'll waste some of this military power. I'm so far ahead in tech right now. I have no way to hmm. just keep developing provinces. I guess I have nothing else to spend it on. I have uh, the one tech that matters, and yeah. everything else is behind. King Elector. I'm, I'm literally sitting at 14. Wait, all how are you a kingdom? How are you a kingdom? I thought the only kingdom you can't be a kingdom in the HRE unless you're, unless you're Prussia. Formation of Tuscany. Yeah, how is Tuscany? The... I, Wait, I don't know. Tuscany becomes a kingdom if you form it. Oh, I forgot you don't start off at Tuscany anymore. I forgot. Yeah, you like... start in Florence. Yeah. Okay, that makes more sense then. Did you guys see the the Vikings Seahawks game? I no, watched I the not. Texans versus the Chiefs and wanted to kill myself. Oh, that myself. was horrible. Yeah, that was horrible. <laughs> that was horrible. So depressed. Yeah. Like, it was, just, it was just horrible to watch. 
Yeah. Well, anyways, the Vikings lost 10 to 9, and that's because their kicker missed a 27 yarder and with 22 seconds left. So they lost. That's rough. Yeah, apparently it's because the placeholder, the guy that holds the ball at the bottom, didn't wasn't able to turn the ball quick enough, so that uh, he didn't kick the laces. And whenever you kick the laces, like it really messes up the accuracy. Hmm. And plus, it was really cold, so he like scuffed it bad. That sucks. They were winning 9-0 at one point. I mean, the Texans game was just bad, and then JJ Watt got injured, and it was just horrible. And it yeah. didn't help that like a running back was already hurt. Yeah. Just I'm a everything I'm a always happens in, bad for us in Texas. Like yeah, I live in Houston could. and it didn't go too well for me either. Yeah. And then Kansas just kept going like it. Yeah, it they just so bad if like, it wasn't. Like I remember, I turned it in. I turned on my TV to watch it. Like it was during this. It was during the ranked game, and I like turned it on because I wanted to watch and I was bored. And like yeah, we just got. I remember I turned it on I and see. they were already, they were already winning like. Three to zero or uh, seven to zero, and I was like, "Oh my god, please!" I mean, I kept thinking it was gonna come back in the first half, and then the second half started, and it was like it wasn't that far behind in the after the first half. Yeah. And then the second half, then JJ Watt went out, and it was like, "Yeah, it's over." <laughs> yeah, it's over. There's just no coming back. Yeah, it was embarrassing. Now people are gonna ask to reseed, like to reseed the playoffs, so that not every division winner gets in over people that had better records. Hmm. Yeah, that, that, every, that happens every single time that a bad like division gets a playoff in. To be honest, as long as, if the Texans can get the made to the playoffs, and they've only been around for like twelve years, it's not too bad. Yeah, they've been three times, so it's not bad, but it's not great. No, definitely not. But I mean, I forgot, considering, I think, it, I think it was the Panthers. Like within like the first like five years or something, they already went to like the Super Bowl. Oh no, that well, was, the Texans them. started from scratch. Like they didn't have a, a well, team. Did, to... So did the Panthers, and so did the Jaguars. I think it was the Jaguars that like started from scratch and yeah. they went to the Super Bowl like within a year or two. I can't believe like the Oilers left to go be the Titans, and then they still suck ass. <laughs> yeah. And then they I picked agree. up Vince Young, and everyone was like, oh, he's going to be amazing. It's like, no, he's not. <laughs> Quarterbacks don't run in, in the NFL. Yeah. I can't believe I'm the only one that ever seems to think of this, but for some reason, they all think that quarterbacks run in the NFL. Oh, it depends. Russell I mean, if you're bad. Michael Vick, maybe. Cam Newton's, yeah, Cam but, Newton's not bad, but like other than that, they're all kind of mediocre at best. J.J. Watt is much bigger than you, and uh, he will he will destroy you. How have I not conquered this territory yet? Holy crap, it's been sitting at negative 49% for ages. What are you at war with? Venice. Taking back all my territory. Finally, if I take back Venice, I'll own everything I lost in the coalition plus Nice. I like how Venetia is still. Oh, you're taking it right now. Oh, and my god. Uh, by the way, Griffer. Mm. I would really love to take Prov Provence myself. Just okay. so I have a better yeah, you can have it all of then. Genoa. Because I'm going to put my, all my trade there, so that's going to benefit you anyways. Yeah, that's fine. You can have it. I didn't know if you were going that far, Doc. Are you, uh... Um, are you, done you can have all the way yet? to Savoy, though. I just want Piedmont. And have... Savoyan, or whatever it's called up here at the top. Then Those... you have my full support for all, all the, everything all in the, Venice. All the Piedmont and stuff, you can have the rest. Hey, no one's. Let me know when you're. Uh... Are you gonna form Spain though soon? Cause I do want the little territory down here. True that. Eventually. Um, I could right now, essentially. Let me know when you're done with your war and you want to do province trades or sales or whatever. I'm just about thinking how exactly I want to piece out there. Um, taking all four and just selling them to Aragon, I guess, would probably be best. Well, not selling them, probably just giving them to Aragon. Yeah, that would probably be best. Because selling them in... would tank my prestige. Oh, I don't know. I sit at, I pretty much sit at a constant 60 prestige right now. I never lose it because I control my around and other stuff. My prestige goes up and down depending on property sales and all that crap. Well, I have Patron of the Arts. I took that event. And then my power projection is still decent. And I have the restraint of appeals or whatever that said my king was greater than the pope. So. Because I've never been able to get the papal states to like me. Above 100 to get rid of it. 
Never will but I'm be. still gonna have. I'm never gonna be able to get papal influence until I form Italy anyway, because I'm gonna have the someone controls Rome. Yeah, and all the everyone's gonna be like, I hate these guys. And then as soon as Italy forms, it's like, oh yeah, never mind, guys. Yeah, it's just dumb. I really wish they'd fix that, but I don't know. The new alliance system's weird too, in my opinion. A little bit. What do you mean? Oh, the favors and all that. I mean, it's kind of cool because now you can't just like bully your way to victory, but it's still annoying. Yeah, like I remember. It makes it a lot harder just... to play certain countries. You have to kind yeah. of defensive war it all the way. I guess it's more historically accurate, but still, it's really annoying. I, my favorite country is still to form Prussia with this Teutonic Order because it's just so much more challenging. Hmm. You have to instantly try to get an HRE to not die. It's or you can just beat uh, Poland up. You can't beat Poland, Lithuania, it's Teutonic Order, and Lithuanian yeah, Order you can. alone. You can. Your army is much superior at the beginning. You just need the right allies. You gotta find somebody, because Lithuanian Order, Teutonic Order is not enough, and usually Denmark always rivals me. I guess I could try to get Novgorod, but they usually get raped by Moscovy, and Moscovy won't ally. Uh, sometimes you can get Austria and Bohemia. Yeah, that's what I meant. If you join the HRE, Austria automatically defends you no matter what, even if you're not allied. So then you just ally Bohemia, and then you can get the dual slammer. And then once you form Prussia, you can do whatever you want. You can just slowly encroach. And because you're HRE, you can encroach on Pomerania too, which is nice. So you can just kind of take that whole trade node.